Sports. A couple of weeks back, the whole world was glued to news media to know what was going on with the Titan submersible that imploded in the North Atlantic Ocean. When the news broke on mainstream media on Sunday, the 18th of June, we were told by that same mainstream media that officials had lost contact with the Titan submersible after one and a half hours into its dive heading to the Titanic wreckage. And the officials, mainly the U.S. Coast Guard, held media briefing after media briefing telling the world what they were doing and what was happening. First, we were told that the submersible only had 96 hours of breathable oxygen, whereas all efforts are being made to launch a search and rescue operation to save the souls on board that vessel. We were told many ships and remote vehicles were called to the scene. We were hopeful that we could do something to save their lives. As they were not dead, fingers crossed, they were just stranded. At least that is what we were made to believe by those officials. Now, two days into the whole drama, the mainstream media told us, uh, and later confirmed by these officials themselves, that they were hearing a banging noise from the bottom of the ocean close to where the Titanic wreckage was. We were given hope that apparently the people inside the submersible were alive and that they were banging on the submersible to indicate their location. The mainstream media made this a 24-hour drama where they got pundit after pundit to predict what was going on, how they could survive and how all was tickety-boo. Later on Thursday, 22nd of June, the US Coast Guard, the very same Coast Guard uh, who earlier said that they were looking for these people, holds the media briefing and says, the submersible imploded, no one survived, everything now at the bottom, bottom of the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Then we learn that apparently the US Navy, through its uh, high-tech top uh, secret listening devices that are located in the ocean to detect possible missile launches by enemy submarines, detected the implosion at the exact time the submersible lost contact on Sunday. Now what does that mean? The very officials who are supposed to tell the truth to its people lied or hid or were not honest from the get-go. They knew the submersible imploded precisely at the time it lost contact. They knew that no rescue operation is required, only a search for the remains. They knew that all of the people on board the submersible were dead, but never informed their loved ones and continued to give them false hope. They knew when they were deploying million dollar crafts that they are not going to save anyone. Yet they chose to tell a lie to the world. Why? Well, they will now cite many excuses. But the truth is that they were dishonest from the get-go. Now it makes you to wonder how much our so-called officials, be it here or abroad, are lying to us daily while they know the truth, the outcome, and the end game, while sending us on a wild goose chase. The IMF is the only solution comes to mind. We'll be right back.